Adolf Green, December 2, 1914 to October 23, 2002, was an American lyricist and playwright who, with longtime collaborator Betty Comden, penned the screenplays and songs for some of the most beloved movie musicals, particularly as part of Arthur Freed's production unit at Metro Goldwyn Mayer during the genre's heyday. Many people thought the pair were married, but in fact they were not a romantic couple at all. Nevertheless, they shared a unique comic genius and sophisticated wit that enabled them to forge a six-decade-long partnership that produced some of Hollywood and Broadway's greatest hits. Biography <inaudible> 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 Green was born in the Bronx to Hungarian Jewish immigrants Helen and Daniel Green. After high school, he worked as a runner on Wall Street while he tried to make it as an actor. He met Comden through mutual friends in 1938 while she was studying drama at New York University. They formed a troupe called The Reviewers, which performed at the Village Vanguard, a club in Greenwich Village. Among the members of the company was a young comedian named Judy Tuveem, who later changed her name to Judy Holiday, and Green's good friend, a young musician named Leonard Bernstein, whom he had met in 1937 at a summer camp where Bernstein was the music counselor, frequently accompanied them on the piano. The act's success earned them a movie offer and the reviewers traveled west in hopes of finding fame in Greenwich Village, a 1944 movie starring Carmen Miranda and Donna Mesh, but their roles were so small they barely were noticed, and they quickly returned to New York. Their first Broadway effort teamed them with Bernstein for On the Town, a musical romp about three sailors on leave in New York City that was an expansion of a ballet entitled Fancy Free on which Bernstein had been working with choreographer Jerome Robbins. Comden and Green wrote the lyrics and book, which included sizable parts for themselves. Their next two musicals, Billion Dollar Baby and Bonanza Bound were not successful, and once again they headed to California, where they immediately found work at MGM. They wrote the screenplay for Good News, starring June Allison and Peter Lawford, the Barclays of Broadway for Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, and then adapted On the Town for Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly, scrapping much of Bernstein's music at the request of Arthur Freed, who did not care for the Bernstein score. They reunited with Kelly for their most successful project, the classic Singin' in the Rain, about Hollywood in the final days of the silent film era. Considered by many film historians to be the best movie musical of all time, it ranked number 10 on the list of the 100 Best American Movies of the 20th Century, compiled by the American Film Institute in 1998. They followed this with another hit, The Band Wagon, in which the characters of Lester and Lily, a husband and wife team that writes the play for the show within a show, were patterned after themselves. They were Oscar nominated twice, for their screenplays for The Band Wagon and It's Always Fair Weather, both of which earned them a Screenwriters Guild Award, as did On the Town. Their stage work during the next few years included the review Two on the Isle, starring Bert Lahr and Dolores Gray, Wonderful Town, an adaptation of the comedy hit My Sister Eileen, with Rosalind Russell and Edie Adams as two sisters from Ohio trying to make it in The Big Apple, and Bells Are Ringing, which reunited them with Judy Holliday as an operator at a telephone answering service. The score, including the standards, just in time, long before I knew you, and the party's over, proved to be one of their richest. In 1958, they appeared on Broadway in a party with Betty Comden and Adolph Green, a review that included some of their early sketches. 
it was a critical and commercial success, and they brought an updated version back to Broadway in 1977. Among their other credits are the Mary Martin version of Peter Pan for both Broadway and television, a streamlined Die Fledermus for the Metropolitan Opera, and stage musicals for Carol Burnett, Leslie Uggams, and Lauren Bacall, among others. Their many collaborators included Garson Cannon, Cy Coleman, Jules Stein, and André Previn. The team was not without its failures. In 1982, A Doll's Life, an exploration of what Nora did after she abandoned her husband in Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House, ran for only five performances, although they received Tony Award nominations for its book and score. In 1980, Green was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And, in 1981, he was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame. In 1989, he appeared as Dr. Pangloss in Bernstein's Condide. Comden and Green received Kennedy Center honors in 1991. His Broadway memorial, with such luminaries as Lauren Bacall, Kevin Kline, Joel Gray, Kristen Chenoweth, Arthur Lawrence, Peter Stone, and, of course, Betty Comden in attendance was held at the Schubert Theatre on December 4, 2002. <laughs> Personal life Green was married to actress Alan Ann McClary from 1945 to 1953. Green's third wife was actress Phyllis Newman, who had understudied Holiday in Bells a Ringing. They married in 1960, and remained so until Green's death in 2002. The couple had two children, Adam and Amanda, both of whom are songwriters. Topic: Broadway credits. On the Town, 1944. Billion Dollar Baby, 1945. Two on the Isle, 1951. Wonderful Town, 1953. Peter Pan, 1954. Bells Are Ringing, 1956. Say, Darling, 1958. A Party with Betty Comden and Adolf Green, 1958. Do Re Me, 1960. Subways Are for Sleeping, 1961. Fade Out, Fade In, 1964. Hallelujah, Baby, 1967. Applause, 1970. Lorelei, 1974. On the 20th century, 1978. The Mad Woman of Central Park West, 1979. A Doll's Life, 1982. Singin' in the Rain, 1985. The Will Rogers Follies, 1991. Topic: Film credits. Good News, 1947. The Barclays of Broadway, 1949. On the Town, 1949. Singin' in the Rain, 1952. The Band Wagon, 1953. It's Always Fair Weather, 1955. Auntie Mame, 1958. Bells Are Ringing, 1960. What a Way to Go, 1964. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Acting Credits. Greenwich Village, 1944, as reviewer, uncredited. Simon 1980 as commune leader 
My Favorite Year 1982 as Leo Silver Lily in Love 1984 as Jerry Silver I Want to Go Home 1989 as Joey Wellman Condide 1991 TV as Dr. Pangloss Martin Frasier 1994 TV as Walter episode Burying a Grudge The Substance of Fire 1996 as Mr. Musselblatt Topic <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Nominations equals equals notes <laughs>